guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to go pick up a truck that's going to be a new project for ruffle uh, and we might look at a couple other barn find type uh, vehicle out here so truck is maybe a runner we don't know we're going to try to get her going see if we can get her going to get her home she should be right around here somewhere yes she is So we brought a battery with us. So this is a Ford F-183 model, I think, with a 300 inline six. Don't know when it ran last, but uh, we do know that it, uh, last time it was ran, it blew a lot of white smoke. So it's probably got a cracked head or at least at minimal a bad head gasket. So because it hadn't been setting forever, we're going to try to crank it without doing too much to it. We're going to put a couple of gallons of fresh gas in the tank. Like another ground or something at one time. Maybe it could have just uh, something, but yeah, that's it's just grounded a, down there. Whatever it was, it melted. Yeah. So it should be fine then. You ready? Yeah, go for it. Oh, we got dash lights. Fasten your seatbelt. Yeah. Nobody does. It's dumb. <laughs> Add a little pressure to it, didn't it? That's to make sure you set yourself on fire instead of just uh, whoa. I would say so. <clears throat> All right, so she fires off. Let me get a rag right here just in case it backfires. We know she's gonna run. Oh, your battery might be a little weak, rough. Come on. I ain't gonna turn it. All right, so she's rolling. We're not gonna drive it back, and that's what everyone likes to see. But uh, fuel pump's leaking pretty bad. Maybe that gasket will slow back up, but probably not. We're going to trailer it. So guys, <clears throat> we got the barn fine truck loaded up. There's something else around here I wanna look at. This is something I'm interested in. I don't know anything about them guys, but this thing has been here for a while. Look at that dirt. Oh my God, I can't even, can't even get it off. See what kind of parts are in the trunk they'll tell us what might be wrong with it. Okay, so that's a challenge. I think I know what's wrong with it. It's only got three pistons. Hmm. That should be fine. Spun rod bearings, isn't it AC? Couple 
bears. That's a trailer spare. What is that? I guess that's the intake. Oh, that's the. Yeah, that's the. I don't know what. The, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about these. Okay, so this is mid 70s, I guess. Still has the emblem. Original bumpers. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I can barely get my fingernail through that dirt. I'm almost scared to look in here. Holy moly, look at this. It's like a time capsule. I'm assuming it's got more than 19,000 miles on it. What is up with those sixes? What? That must be a German thing. That, that crack over there, that door panel is the only thing I see wrong with the entire interior. Original radio. Becker Europa. Fancy. Very fancy. It's an automatic four speed. Here's the keys. We got keys. Got more keys. Got some pins. Maps. Got something hanging here. Not sure what that's all about. Rear axle oil change. A and B services, 603,000 miles respectively. I've never seen that. You have to change the rear axle oil at 3,000 miles? Wow, look at the headliner. Cracking the steering wheel, but that's still good. That's still good. How do you pop the hood? This? Maybe? Yeah, I think the hood just came up. How do you open it? There we go. Ah, that's a challenge. All right, so we got some acorns or walnuts or whatever those are. Two pistons have been removed. I assume that means that the oil pan has been taken down. I didn't see an oil pan, so I'm guessing the oil pan's under it. It's got some funky steering back there. Could you swap something into this? It looks like it's got plenty of room in the transmission tunnel. What could you swap into this? Does anyone know? Could you put an LS in here? If you could, how would you get the gauges to work? Lots of questions. Does anyone know? Can anyone tell me? Is it good condition? If there was a good motor swap for this that would pep it up, man, what a sleeper this would be if you put a hot motor in it. If anyone knows anything about these, drop it in the comments. All right, guys, hopefully this wind doesn't screw with audio too much, but here she is in all her uh, glory. So we got it off property and got it back here before we really did much to it. We knew it would crank, so we just poured some gas down her and got her up on the trailer. Super cheap. Uh, it had been sitting for a good while, but some good. We got some original dishes. We got three of these. One oddball. Russell says he thinks that come off a galaxy. I don't know. Possibly. No tailgate. That adds uh, probably four or five miles a gallon. Maybe 50. I don't know. Came from Proctor Gladden Ford in Central Alabama. That's where we're at now. So it's back home. Job getting back home. We got some free uh, whatever. What's the stuff that grows on trees, Russell? Huh? What's the stuff that grows on trees? <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, limbs do grow on trees. Now, this moss, like, is it lichen? No, no Lyca, lichen, whatever. Well, it's growing on your truck, so that's good. We found this emblem in the glove box, so that's good. Pretty good shape there. Chrome bumper that adds five horsepower. No Ford emblem, that adds like 30 horsepower. Inside, no floorboard rust. Of course, we're in the south, so that ain't even a thing. Self-tapping door uh, panel screws, those are custom. Ooh, got the vent window. I love that. Oh man, don't tell me that's, uh, it's got the vent, it's got the, it's got, uh, it's got a vent window. Seat has seen better days. You got your free uh, skull cap boggin. Custom wiring that adds some more power. But look at the pedals, this thing, I don't know how many miles it's got on, but it's 72 is what it says on the, the 72,000. I, I don't think that's rolled over. It might have, but these pedals are not war. No, it might have just had 72,000 hard farm miles. Yeah. It's got the manuals. Oh. 
Come on. Come on. There you go. Got some aerodynamics built into the bed back here. Let's pop that out. Check this out. Good floorboards. Of course, it's got the old uh, trusty poor dash crack up there. What kind of front license plate you can put on? Uh, where's the beef? We're, oh, perfect. Yes, farm truck needs a where's the beef or pork the other white meat, either one. <laughs> Maybe most importantly, we have a horn. <laughs> Sounds like we're sending Morris code. We're sending the coordinates to the enemy. So guys, this is Ruffles new uh, project truck. Uh, I didn't talk about the engine. It's just your basic uh, six cylinder, 4.9 liter with the uh, crappy Dura Spark. So we're gonna do some stuff with that, but the next video we'll be cleaning up and we'll probably do about four or five videos on this truck before he drives off. And this is gonna be his new daily driver. He's gonna upgrade. He's gonna upgrade from uh, that piece of junk to, uh, to this beautiful old man Ford. So stay tuned. He's gonna <laughs> lean into the old man. Yeah, I mean, he's an old man. So, uh, you know, time to act like it. Time to grow up, Ruffle. So guys, stay tuned, uh, more videos to come pretty quickly. This is gonna be our primary project until he drives off uh, and gets it out of my yard. Guys, uh, like the video if you wanna watch more of this and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see y'all later, have a great day.